Hello, welcome to Storytime with the Englewood Public Library. My name is Pamela Green, and I'm a children's librarian there. And this is Storytime for you at home, brought to you by me at home. And I'm sitting in my living room with my little friends up here. I don't know if you can see them on the shelf. There's Bone, there's Pete the Cat, there's Elephant and Piggy right there. So they're here today to join us. So I thought we would start today. Oh, we're going to have stories about fairies. So we're going to start with Little Rabbit Foo Foo. And here he is on the board. And there are three field mice here. There's one, two, three. And Little Rabbit Foo Foo is going to go for a hop in the forest. So you can use your two fingers as his bunny ears and then bob up and down to make him hop. Okay? Little Rabbit Foo Foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little Rabbit Foo Foo, I don't like to see you. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you three chances. And if you keep doing it, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Oh, 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 I don't want to be a goon, said Little Rabbit Foo Foo. So he hopped home. He went to sleep. He woke up the next day. He yawned. And he stretched his arms. Let me see you stretch your arms. And he said, it's such a beautiful day. I'm going to go for a hop in the forest. Little rabbit foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, little rabbit foo foo, I don't like to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I'm going to give you two more chances. And if you keep doing it, I'm going to turn you in to a goon. Oh, 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 I don't want to be a goon, said Little Rabbit Foo Foo. So he hopped home. He went to sleep. He woke up. Oh, and yawned. Oh, and he stretched. Oh, stretch out high. Good. And he said, it's such a beautiful day. I'm going to go for a hop in the forest. Little rabbit foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice, hopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy, and she said, I'll get her hair out of her eyes. Little rabbit foo foo, I don't like to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I'm going to give you one more chance, and if you keep doing it, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Oh, 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 I don't want to be a goon, said Little Rabbit Foo Foo. So he hopped home. He went to sleep. He woke up. Oh, and he stretched. And you know how it is when sometimes you're told something and you just forget that you're not supposed to do it. And that's what happened. Little Rabbit Foo Foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice, hopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy, and she said, Little rabbit foo foo, I don't like to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I gave you three chances, but you kept doing it. So now I have to turn you into a goon. One, two, three, you're a goon. And the moral of the story is, hair today, goon tomorrow. And that's a little bit. And that was fun. Okay, so now I'm going to read a story to you. I have chosen today's story, Too Many Fairies. And this is a Celtic tale. And the Celts were a people that lived in the country that is now Ireland, England, that area there. And so they have a lot of stories that were told in those like hundreds of years ago. And this is a Celtic folk tale that was retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald. Margaret Reed MacDonald was a librarian that uh, worked in Seattle. 
She's also an excellent storyteller. And every book that comes out that she has retold is just, they're wonderful. And I love this book. So Margaret Reed McDonald wrote it down. And the pictures are by Susan Mitchell. And this is uh, published by Marshall Cavendish Children. So I want to read to you. Now I want you to see the pictures. So I'm going to be reading it to you. You won't see my face, but I'll join you after the story. Enjoy. Too Many Fairies, a Celtic tale, retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald, illustrated by Susan Mitchell, and published by Marshall Cavendish Children. There was once an old woman who hated housework, washed the dishes, weed the floor, make the bed, do the knitting. One day, she began to grumble. Work, work, work. How I hate it, hate it, hate it. No sooner were these words out of her mouth than there came a knocking at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door and let me in and you'll work no more. The little old woman opened the door and in rushed a little fairy. The fairy raced to the sink and began to clatter and bang away at the dishes. Clinkity, clinkity. Clinkity, clinkity. Well, if she's going to do the dishes, I will sweep the floor, said the old woman. But still she grumbled. Work, work, work. How I hate it, hate it, hate it. And right away she heard. Knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. Another fairy ran in, snatched up the broom, and began to sweep dust all over the house. Swishity, 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 swishity. Well, then I will make the bed, said the old woman. But soon she was grumbling again. Work, work, work. How I hate it, hate it, hate it. Knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. A third fairy rushed in and began to shake the bedclothes. Flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. Then I will work on my knitting, said the old woman. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Work, work, work. How I hate it, hate it, hate it. But then, knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. In rushed another fairy and snatched up the knitting. Clinkity, clinkity, clinkity. Swishity, swishity, swishity. Flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. Clickety, clickety, clickety. The old woman was surrounded by rackety fairies. These fairies are driving me crazy, she yelled. Fairies, stop! And suddenly, they stopped. The house was quiet. The bed was made. The floor was swept. The dishes were done. The knitting was finished. Thank you, fairies. But before the old woman could finish thanking them, the fairies began to tear everything apart again. They ripped up the bed covers, dirtied the floor, tore up the knitting, and smeared up the dishes. Then they began all over again. Clinkity, clinkity, clinkity. Swishity, swishity, swishity. Blumpity, blumpity, blumpity. Clinkity, clinkity, clinkity. They will never leave, shouted the old woman. Too many fairies. She rushed to the village wise woman. My house is overrun with fairies. They won't stop working. Oh, my, said the wise woman. They've come to help. You haven't been complaining, have you? Well, maybe at first. Oh, no, you'll never be rid of them. Well, here is what you must try. Stand outside your door and shout, Fairies, come quick! Fairies, come quick! The fairies will run out to see what is happening. You must jump back inside the house and lock the door. Then quickly turn everything all topsy-turvy. Room, dishes, bed covers, knitting. Do not open the door and never complain again. The little old woman did just as she was told. Fairies, come quick! Fairies, come quick! What? The fairies rushed out to see what was happening. The little old woman ran inside and bolted the door. She stood the broom upside down in the corner. 
She put the dishes upside down in the sink. She tied the bed covers in knots. She pulled apart the knitting and shoved the needles into her yarn. The fairies were banging on the door. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let us in and you'll work no more. The old woman kept very quiet. The old woman did not move. The fairies stirred around and fussed. Broom, open, come open the door. But the broom called back. I'm upside down. I cannot move. Dishes, come let us in. We're upside down in the sink. We cannot come. Knitting needles, come open the door. We're stuck in the yarn. We cannot get out. Bed covers, get up and come open this door. We're all tangled up. We cannot move. Those fairies began to grumble and growl. Then your luck is gone. We'll work no more. And they stomped away to their fairy hill. At last, all was quiet. The old woman washed her dishes. She swept her floor. She made her bed. And then she sat down and began to do her knitting. But soon, work, work, work. How I, she stopped just in time. How I love it, love it, love it. And that's the story of two many fairies. And that was the story, Too Many Fairies, a Celtic tale, retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald. I saw a little fairy dancing in the sun with a dress with a dress of red, and that made one. I saw another little fairy in a dress of blue. I counted up fairies. And that made two. One, two. I saw another fairy in a dress of green. Will you help me count them? That makes three. One, two, three. Here comes another fairy flying past my door in a dress of yellow and that makes four. One, two, three, four. One more fairy flies in with a soar and a dip and a dive in her pretty dress of purple and that makes five. One, two, three, four, five. Five fairies in my garden on a magical sunny day. But when the rain came, they all flew away. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five. What color was her dress? Red. Her dress was blue. Her dress was green. Her dress was yellow. And her dress was purple. One, two, three, four, five. If one flies away, how many are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. If one flies away, how many are left? One, two, if one flies away, how many are left? One, two. Uh-oh, he's trying to fly away. Hold on. So the blue one flies away. And we have one left, and she flies away as well. And that's the five tiny fairies. I wanted to show you another book uh, that was written or written down by Margaret Reed MacDonald. And this is called The Old Woman Who Lived in a Vinegar Bottle. And it has a fairy in the story. And 
And I won't be reading this today, but I encourage you to find the book somewhere and pick it up and share it with your family. I think you'll like it. And that's all for story time today. I, again, I'm Pamela Green from the Inglewood Public Library, and I want to thank you for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye.